And we're back. Welcome back or welcome to another edition of the, uh, the Sales Life, TSL. I was trying to say it all in one, one breath. Welcome to another edition. Sales Life is just not for those in the sales profession. It's for those who are building the life skill of sell because we're all selling our way through something, to something, through something, from something. You got to keep selling. So today's episode, episode number 408, is not, it's not about being a shooter, bro. It's about being an overshooter. And I recently heard a clip from uh, Jordan Peterson and his books, man, I, 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 his books are so deep that I don't know if I like them or dislike them, to be honest with you. I don't know because I just feel overwhelmed intellectually when I read his books because it's like, I don't even know how I'm supposed to process it. And maybe it's just not the season for me to even read his books. I've, I've talked about his books um, or one of his books, I forgot the name of it. Um, some time back in one of the earlier podcasts, like round 200 or 300 episodes, somewhere right around there. Um, but I recently heard a clip and he, and he was saying that you gotta, you must continuously overshoot. Uh, and as you do, you may not achieve the result, but the benefits of overshooting you know, are the lessons that you learn along the way. And as you learn those lessons, uh, you'll learn what to not keep doing but also what you should keep doing along the way and that way that yields bigger, better results in the long run. So th- this is what this episode is about this week, man, is about being an overshooter, about lifting your perspective because many times, bro, we're just trying to shoot through a month. We're just trying to shoot through the week. We're trying to shoot through another year. We're trying to shoot to get a bonus. But, bro, you were called to be an overshooter, man. And the overshooter, yes, it's risky. The overshooter is, yes, there's a lot of uncertainty. The overshooter is guaranteed failure. But along the way, it's not a direct, you don't get one benefit based on one fail. No, it's as you fail along the way, the attempt yields three or four different benefits to that because you get three or four different lessons out of every effort and then compounded along the way, compounded over 365 days over the course of many, 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 many years. I don't even know what that calcs out to be. The lessons that you learn compound and you learn along the way. It's a pruning of what you shouldn't keep doing. But as you keep doing that, then you'll learn better of what you should keep doing. And then you overshoot, you overshoot more, you overshoot more, you continuously overshoot. Many times my salespeople and I'll just break this down in the sales life for a minute, or the salespeople for a minute. Many people, veterans, they shoot just to get a paycheck. So they know exactly how many customers they need to work with to equal whatever they want to make for that month. That's it. No more, no less. They shoot. Okay. The overshooter is the novice salesperson. The overshooter is the one who says, I have to work three, four, five times. The I've got to give five times the effort to yield the same result that a veteran would get. But along the way, man, that's how you get your skills. And as you develop those skills, they equal better results. Now, that's just in the selling profession. But you can take that same analogy and expand that into a better, healthier life for you, for savings, for relationships, whatever it is, man, whatever you're struggling with, you got to be a long shot, man. You, you are a long shot. The fact that you're even here, you're a long shot, but you've also got to take on the perspective of a long shot. Whatever it is that you want in life, dude, don't accept where you are right now. You don't have to. No one says that you have to. Society will tell you that, okay? Your mind will tell you that, but you don't have to accept it. They can sell it to you, but you don't have to buy it. Be an overshooter. That overshooting mindset, it's what's going to yield you massive results. But first, you got to get the benefits along the way. Hope you get something from this week's podcast. If you did, man, leave me uh, leave me word. The sales life one at gmail.com. The sales life, the number one at gmail.com. Whoever left me a five-star rating, they didn't put a comment on there or anything like that, much love to you. Somebody gave me a five-star rating. Really do appreciate it. The ratings, guys, I, I can't stress this enough. The ratings that you give and the uh, comments that you make, I love them. I appreciate them. That is what's when people are shopping for other podcasts. There's millions of podcasts out there. 
And think about when you came across this podcast. You probably looked at the buyer and was like, eh, I don't know if I, this is for me or not. Then you started looking at the comments. You started looking at the bio and said, hey, let me give it a try. That's what other people are going to do too. And I can't power this show without you. So we've had thousands and thousands and thousands um, that listen to the show. And I'm much appreciative for that. I just need you to take a quick second just to leave a rating. That doesn't take but a second. Um, but also, if you would, take a few minutes and just leave a quick, what do you get, what do you get from the TSL? What, what's it work for you? What's it do for you? Um, and that will help other people as well. So much love to you. Thanks for being a part of the TSL. Now let's rock out with this week's podcast. I recently heard a uh, clip from um, author Jordan Peterson, and we've talked about him on our on the uh, on the on our podcast before. Uh, Jordan Peterson, his his books are they're 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 well sold. His 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 intellectual depth is like it's too deep for me, man. And so I have trouble going to the depths of of his knowledge. He's so vast in knowledge, and I just I get I get overwhelmed. But I heard a clip, I came across a clip the other day, and I, I think it resonates well with you. And it, it said this, he said, dude, you got to overshoot continuously. You must overshoot continuously because as you overshoot, even if you don't learn what you should have done, you'll continuously learn what you shouldn't keep doing. Even if you don't learn what you should have done, you'll continuously learn what you shouldn't keep doing. And as you learn enough of what you shouldn't keep doing, you'll learn what you should be doing along the way. Now, that's an interesting paradox, isn't it? Because let, let's, let's take it outside the ring of the quote. Okay, so I set a goal, huge goal, large goal, overshoot goal. So I set this big ass goal out there, right? And so I set out and I don't hit the mark, but as I don't hit the mark, I learn along the way what I shouldn't keep doing. And as I continuously, that's the operative word, continuously learn what I shouldn't keep doing along the way, I'll learn what I should keep doing also. See, I set out to hit a goal. I learn along the way continuously learn along the way, even though I'm not hitting the goal, I'm continuously learning the benefits of learning what I shouldn't keep doing. And as I continuously learn what I shouldn't keep doing, I learn what I should keep doing also. It's weird, man. It's weird how life works. You set out for a goal, you hang left, you back up, you go right, you go straight, you go left. And then along the way, (laughs) <laughs> the goal, man, success is not a straight line. It's not linear, dude. It's jagged. And so some days, man, as you learn along the way, some days, dude, it's just a dot day, man, where you're just putting up your dots, where you're just putting up the effort. And as you're doing that, man, you're learning along the way as well. See, part of the problem is you think it's a long shot. Whatever it is that you want in life, man, you think it's so far out there. You think it's so far out of the realm of possibilities. You're looking at your now and you're saying, dude, the odds, the obstacles, everything would have to go down perfect. And my life so far hadn't been perfect. So I don't do anything at all. It is a long shot. Yes, what you want. Really think about it. What do you want? You damn fucking right it's a long shot. But I'd rather it be a long shot than some far off long dream. Take the shot, man. Let it be a long shot in your life. That's all right. Because a shot means an action versus a dream is inaction. It's just sitting there on a park bench like Forrest Gump, waiting on a box of chocolates, waiting on your bus to arrive. Bullshit. Take the long shot. So you're using your now skills and you're trying to figure out how to get to there how to get to that destination. But now, one now, today's now is not going to get you there. It's a bunch of nows collectively put together. Have no idea how they're strung together. No clue. This now right here on the left goes with this now that's four miles down the road on the right. And somehow it ends up north. How does that work? How do you go from east to west to south to east to west to west to west and end up north? 
It's by overshooting, man. And I tell my, my new salespeople this all the time. You've got to overshoot. That's the first thing I tell them, man. You've got to overshoot. Because don't get deceived by looking at the veteran salespeople and saying, oh, I want to be like him. The only reason why he's putting up big numbers, why he's collecting these massive paychecks, is because he's an overshooter. You had to start off as an overshooter. And so you must overshoot. So for new salespeople, we hired you on talent. You have no skill. So what you lack in skill, you're going to have to make up for in numbers. Meaning you got to catch more to net out less. You got to catch more to net out less. So in other words, um, okay, so you got to catch 60 customers to net out 10 or 15 deals when you first start. That's a lot of customers. That's a lot, but you've got to go through a lot because you've got to acquire the skills. You've got no skills, and this is where the overshooting comes in. This is overshooting at its simplest. Now, I'm just going to use the sales profession, but this goes in all walks of life, bro. You must overshoot because along the way, it's not a direct result in a sale. It's the direct benefits in overshooting, continuously learning, developing the skills along the way. See, those 60 customers, those 60 encounters that you're, that you're working with right now, those are going to benefit two, three, four times the amount. So for every customer, for all 60 customers, you may get 180, 240 different kinds of experiences because within the time that you're working with a customer, questions get asked, deals back up, um, they take on a different life of their own. They take on a different course. They go all kind of different directions, two, three, four different ways. Those of you who are in the sales profession, you're nodding your head saying, yup, yup, all kind of different ways. It's not, hello, my name is Kenny, and what can I sell you today? No, it's, hello, my name is Kenny, and up, 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 all kind of different directions. And along the way, you get to a sale. Maybe, maybe 20% of the time. And as you become a, a more skilled than those same 60 customers that you're working with, you are going to net out 20 or 30 deals because you can work with the same amount of customers and yield better benefits because you've been continuously learning. Now, here's the glitch. Here's the catch. And there's always a catch. Don't get deceived in that. Even as you become a veteran, and that's what, what veterans do is, is they look at the direct result and they miss the benefit. So they stop learning. They, stop, they, they, they actually work with fewer customers and make the same amount of money because they're not overshooting anymore. They stop overshooting. See, when you first got into the business, see, when you first embarked on whatever is the goal that you had, you overshot. But once you start breaking your average, meaning that uh, I've, this is the most money I've ever made before, then you stop right there and you say, this is the most money I've ever made before. And many times we stop overshooting. We just start shooting. We shoot to get through a month. We shoot to get a, a, a specific commission or a specific result. We shoot to lose the 60 pounds and you're no longer overshooting anymore. From time to time, man, I, I, I hit the road and I still knock out a 10 to 12 mile run. Even though I've achieved the goal, even though that was the initial thing, the reason why I was hitting these long runs was to punish myself, man, to get to, to that 40 pound, to get to that 60 pound, to get to that 70 pound weight loss. I was punishing myself. But once you achieve the goal, what the fuck do you do then? You got to keep overshooting, man. You have to overshoot. You have to continuously overshoot. See, when you set out for the overshooting, when you have the overshooting mindset, you say, um, you look at the, 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 the result and what it's going to take and the sheer numbers that it's going to take. And you say, oh my God, I got to work four, five times as hard to net out one result. I got to, I got to work 20 times the effort, 30 times the effort. It's a 30 to one ratio. Yes. This is the benefit, or let me show you the benefit of overshooting. So initially, when you set out on some big-ass goal, 
You don't go to the gym, okay, I want to lose weight. I want to lose 15 pounds. You don't go to the gym, show up on Monday, and by Tuesday, you've lost that 30 pounds. Nope, not going to happen. You don't even, as a matter of fact, on Tuesday when you show up, it's like you gained a pound, right? (laughs) And then on Wednesday when you show up, it's like, well, I'm back, okay, now I'm back to what I initially started out. So then I lost the pound that I gained from Tuesday. And it's a continuous thing, and you're like, what's the use? See, this is where people say, I tried that before. I tried that before, it didn't work for me, and so I'm no no longer going to do it. The IED, bro, is what's killing you. It's the IED. I tried that before. You've got to continuously be trying. It's what he's talking about. It's what Peterson's talking about, dude. He's talking about overshooting and continuously learning along the way. So the 100 pounds you want to lose, the $100,000 that you want to save, the new business that you want to start, whatever it is, the 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 uh you want to be, uh, own your own business, whatever. I you whatever, just fill in the blank, man. Whatever it is that you want, you've got to overshoot and you've got to work 30 times as hard to get one blip of a result, to get one little shimmer of something and it looks like from that one thing, I just did 30 reps and got a, a half ounce of movement. But overshooting, and as you continuously overshoot, what you're going to do is you're going to build that momentum. And as you build that momentum, man, it goes from 30 to 1 ratio. Then it goes to 29. Then it goes to 28 to 1. And you may stay at 28 to 1 for a little bit, and then you raise the intensity again. And then it goes from 28 to 1 to 25 to 1. And then it goes 20 to 1, 15 to 1, 10 to 1, 5 to 1. You never want a 1 to 1. You never want a 1 to 1. If you're working on a 1 to 1 ratio, and let's just use the, the, the car business. Let's use sales as an example. If you talk to a customer and sell, oh, I'm done for the day. No, if you're setting a one-to-one, if you're hoping for a one-to-one, that's life in, in its easiest package form, a one-to-one ratio. Uh, uh, you know, I show up and uh, make a sale. I show up and I, I save the, the, the $1,000 for this month. It don't work that way. It don't work that way. It's not supposed to work that way. It's a five-to-one ratio. Minimum five-to-one, man. And sometimes, some months, dude, it's going to be 15-to-one. Sometimes it's going to be 100-to-one. But you continuously show up. You continuously keep doing it. You continuously overshoot. And along the way, I keep trying. And the ratios shrink. And they compound down. At first, they're compounding up. It's like the resistance is up against you. But as you keep doing it, man, then it's going to start clicking together. Then all of a sudden, the ratios are going to come down. You just don't know when that that tipping point is. And that's the tough thing in life, man. You never know where the tipping point is. So you've got to keep feeding it, keep overshooting until finally it just spills over. But then you don't stop. Then you don't stop. Just because you're getting some result, just because you're making more than you ever have, just because you got your boo, just because you got your house and your car and you rebuilt your credit, just because you got all those things, scratch it out. Keep overshooting because the benefits of overshooting, the benefits of continuously learning far outweigh the result itself. Because you learn along the way what you shouldn't keep doing. So you can't, you can't go to the dart board, pick up the dart, throw the dart, and, exa- and expect to hit the bullseye every single time. It don't work that way, man. No, it's... It's throwing the dart. It's standing where everybody else is standing and then stepping back a foot and then throwing the dart from there. No one is not going to hit the bullseye. Everybody else is hitting the fucking bullseye from where they're standing. You step back a foot and you throw it again. Seeing where it lands, analyze it, and then throw again. Step back another six inches, another foot, and then you step off to the right. And then you then you step off to the left. See, you're 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 shooting your dart. You're throwing your darts from all kind of different angles, because it's not the immediate result, man. The the immediate result, bro. That's just the shoot. The overshoot is stepping back. Is stepping to the side. It's hitting it from all kind of different angles. So you need that overshoot. You need that feedback too. Overshoot, where you continuously learn what you shouldn't keep doing. And let me tell you something, bro. Some of what you shouldn't keep doing are the relationships that you keep. 
You know how many, and, and you hear these, uh, these people that were once in the limelight, athletes, actors, and they just, you know, they started off, you know, cool. And then all of a sudden they just went on this rampage where they just become a dick, man. And they just like hate society and all this. And they're just tearing shit up and, and they get, they get blackballed out of the limelight. Right. And then once the dust settles and years pass, they say, it was the company that I kept. Let me tell you something, dude. You can't achieve massive results, superior results, 1% results by hanging out with below average people, even average people. And this is where you got to have the five minute, five hour and five year friends. The five minute friends are the ones that you say, what's up, man? Good to see you as you're walking into the store and you keep moving. The five hour friends are the ones that you can maybe watch a game with, but you ain't trying to head to the strip club. Okay. That's where they, that's where you fucking go wrong right there. See, that's the five minute friends, the ones that always want to break rank. It starts off one direction and then it ends up going a whole different toxic direction. Negative five minute friend, but the five hour friends. Yeah, I can watch a game with you. We're cool. Talk to you later. See you next week. See you another time, whatever. And then the five year friends, man, the five year friends, if you even have one at all. You may have one, maybe two. The five-year friends are the ones that their house burns down. You say, bro, you can come live with me. They, 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 they get a divorce. They bottom out in life, and you say, come on, you can live with me. Not out of obligation, not because I owe you anything, but the fact that because I love you like that, because I love you deeply in the sense that you can stay with me as long as you get because I know you're pushing. I know you're an overshooter too. See, most of the relationships that you keep, they want to keep you stuck. They want to keep you local, bro. They want to keep you exactly like them. And that's for your friends. That's for your coworkers. That's for even your fucking boss, man. Not everybody's got, not everybody's got your best interest. Nobody's got your best interest in mind. You've got your best interest in mind. Let them shoot their own shot and you overshoot yours. That's so important, man. Let me repeat that. Everybody has to take their own shots in life. You need to take your shots and overshoot them. See, what's your aim right now? What is your aim right now? What are you aiming for? Are you aiming for what you can see? Or are you willing to overshoot? And see, overshooting is what you can't see with my own two eyes. I can't see it, but I know my aim. I know the the, the direction I got to aim. I can't state this enough, bro. I can't. This is so important. Because if you shoot, if you only shoot and you hit, what do you learn? What do you learn? That's just the shooting part. What about the overshooting part? See, the shooting part, if you hit every single time, that's like buying a fucking toy goal from Walmart, a three-foot-high goal, and you're standing there right in front of it and just throwing that little bitty-ass basketball, and you're performing all kind of different moves, and you're dunking it, right? That's the three-foot goal. Average is 10-foot. Regulation is 10-foot. Fuck regulation. How about 12-foot? See, that's the overshooting part, and that's what people don't do. See, most people want to shoot on the three-foot goal. I shoot. I hit. Yay. Average. Stuck. Normal. Bro, you weren't. You weren't engineered to be normal. (laughs) You're not engineered to be normal. Let it be when you leave us, not that you left us normal. Let it be when you part from us that (laughs) you left as an overshooter, that you reached your potential. And that's the thing about potential, man. Let's talk about that for a second. When someone says, oh, I see potential in her, I see potential in him, they don't fully know what that means, right? They just see more. That's all that means. I see a little bit more. And so the potential is not revealed. It's unveiled a little bit at a time. And you got to understand that. You have no clue what your full potential is. You're not supposed to know. Because if you knew, you'd never be an overshooter. It's overshooting that makes you reach your full potential, it's, it's the no man's land. It's that dark, murky waters. It's going under, drowning, coughing, <laughs> being busted out, man, being broken apart. Yet you keep coming back. 
and you keep continuously learning because you're an overshooter. That's how you reach your full potential. And as you go along the way, a little bit more is revealed. A little bit more is revealed. It's unveiled just a little bit at a time. It's not like, you know, when you order room service and they pop the little chrome top off. Ta-da! Here's your, here's your steak and eggs. No, it's not that. It's, you don't see it all. You just see the corner of the plate. But you got to keep showing up. And a little bit more of the plate is shown. And a little bit more. And then it all disappears. Is it gone? No. Life just needs you to overshoot a little bit more. You don't know what your full potential is. You'll never know. You'll never know <laughs> because you, you must keep overshooting. And there's no boundaries to overshooting. There's no limits to your overshooting. There's no, no limits to your potential either. You'll see shadows of it. You'll see blips of it. But to truly know, you won't. You won't. But see, overshooting, this is how you stay fluid. Overshooting, this is how you stay continuous. Overshooting, see, overshooting, it's not that you're not appreciative for where you are right now. It's not that you're not grateful for where you are right now. And that's where people get a twist. Oh, you should be grateful for what you have. Yeah, yeah. But also, I'm hungry. I'm hungry because I know there's more in me to achieve more. I know life is willing to give me more. But I got to overshoot to get it. Because if I just wait for life to, to, uh, you know, to hand me a portion, then all I'm going to do is get the scraps of life. And most people just feed on the scraps of life. But fuck that, man. I got to stay hungry. And the overshooting, this is how you stay razor sharp. This is how you don't stay complacent. See, everyone's shooting. Everyone's shooting. Everyone's shooting. Everyone's shooting for a paycheck. Everyone's shooting for a year in bonus. Everyone's shooting for Christmas. Everyone's shooting for retirement. They're shooting for what's seen and not of the unseen. But that's why you're here, bro. You wouldn't be rocking with the TSL if you weren't an overshooter. See, you're not just a shooter. You're an overshooter. Because... Because you're an overshooter. You're willing to launch that shit from half court. Hell, you're willing to launch it from the other end of the... As a matter of fact, you're willing to heave it from out in the parking lot. Knowing that you're probably going to miss. But the benefits that you get in missing. The lessons that you learn. The 3, 4, 10x lessons and benefits that you get along the way. Doesn't equal in one result. But compounded over time as I continuously learn the gains that I get and the benefits and the lessons that I have right now are going to yield me massive results. Don't shoot today. Overshoot.